Hey guys, we're here with Ashton and his dad, Brian Smith, and Mossy Oak Properties. Also been here with Bob Smiley. We're out in Kansas. We're turkey hunting. Uh, Bob's out here with his two boys. He connect, one of his boys connected on a nice turkey yesterday. Uh, we've been trying to get Ashton on one. We've been through a couple different areas, done a lot of different setups, seen a lot of different kind of terrain. Why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Well, um, we are chasing turkeys and we're a little bit behind, but we're going to try and get along. Yeah, we're still going to try to get along, but we can still have the rest of the day left today. And so we're going to try to connect on one. We kind of got some turkeys. We know where they're roosting, and so we're going to try to get in here before they come in to roost and call one in. And uh, But we're going to show you right now the rest of the hunts that we've been on this week. And then we're going to hopefully close it with a big turkey kill. Sound good? Yep. Here we go. How was that plane? Did you ever been on a plane? My boys never have. <laughs> I, I oh, time. you've been one time. Yeah. You're so little. Smiley could be better than Smith, uh, but also just that uh, we would all be safe and just have a great time and a successful trip. And we ask us to do the same my, trade. Lord, my rebuttal to that, Lord, is that, uh, Lord, that, uh, Lord, that I know you don't listen to me, so uh, I feel really <laughs> thank confident you, thank right Thank you, now. Lord. I, I know you got two ears, Lord. Thank you. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. That's going to be some They're just, they're just right up in the yeah. tree. But that cedar would give a little bit more cover. Yeah. You mean the one? The bone of here? Yeah, yeah. Right yeah. there. Not here in front of us. That's not no. cedar. I'll bone further. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Originally, I think it made it too much of that. Anyway. Yeah, I think we're getting that, that cedar up there. Yeah. Well, wasn't that an awesome way to start an awesome hunt? Hearing them gobblers cut loose before they even flew out of their roost. And even though turkey season's almost in full swing, I do want to hit on something real quick. You cannot forget about the deer on your property during turkey season. Here on our property, we like to keep minerals all year round, but right now it's a critical time for deer to need their minerals. The does are still developing in their fawns inside of them, and pretty soon they'll be producing milk, and they need minerals to do all that. Also, the bucks are trying to put on weight again, and they're going to be supplying a lot of minerals to their antler growth, so if you want good antler growth, it's good to have good minerals on your property. Now what we like to do in our property is we like to put our minerals on a stump. Rather than dumping it straight into the ground and making the deer tear up the ground and dig in the soil to get their minerals. Because the stump really seems to hold in the minerals and the deer will come and you can see they've eaten the stump and they've consumed it. It's just an easier way for them to consume their minerals. One thing a lot of you guys probably do 
is you guys probably go to your local farm goods store and pick up these mineral blocks for about ten dollars and they are pretty cost effective they just don't supply all the minerals that those deer need but we like to go ahead and buy those too and we cut a v-shape top in the stump so it really holds in that block good then we like to top it off with lucky buck just because it's uh, what we found to work best on our property here deer really seem to hit on it it's got a lot of good minerals in it and we've always had a lot of good success with it but we're going to go back to the turkey hunt but what we didn't know is going to play out a lot like this morning. The toms are hard to get away from the hens, and we're also dealing with about 100 degree temperatures and wind gusts up to 50 miles an hour. But it's pretty interesting. Here we go. Whoa, there's tons of them. Oh. some more birds and then we just set up a couple times uh, so we came over here to 2,000 more acres that Jeff's got and we're in the bottom it's like a bowl that runs down through here great spot ton of deers up turkey side ton of turkey side and anyway we've had one goblin and he must be at his roost tree because he's gobbled at my gobble tube twice or three times the experience it here just a second from the head out we'll be back here in the morning for day number two stay tuned to hunting grounds the hunting grounds television he's been talking trash the whole trip and now he decides to you just let your actions speak for you that's wise yeah that's wise tell me what happened son my gun. Although he didn't call you my, he had another word for it. <laughs> oh, my. Right when I was about to shoot a turkey. Did you shoot it this morning? He did. Yeah. He did shoot it this yeah, morning. Yeah, I wanted to that. I don't know. I just tried to pull the trigger, but it wouldn't budge. So anyway, it's April the 3rd and Sunday on Youth Hunt here in Oklahoma. And this morning we set up here, we heard a bird gobbling. Uh, yesterday afternoon we hunted here, set up. And we just knew he was going to be roosting right over here. Well, we got here this morning, nothing. Of course, the wind's blowing, but the wind's not blowing down this little bowl. We're actually in a sweet spot. We've got this 
uh, to the southwest of our back here. Southwest, we've got the wind. I've got a, a hillside here, so it's blocking the wind really neat. And uh, it didn't hear a thing, not absolutely nothing. So uh, I really don't know what's going on with it. Of course, that's turkey hunting. That's that's just how it goes. Well, that was one exciting hunt. We saw a lot of turkeys. We had a blast. Ashton and I got to be pretty good buds riding around the back of the truck everywhere, poking at each other and spending a lot of time out there trying to hunt down those turkeys. But that's just what happens sometimes. We were 20 minutes late about everywhere we went. Uh, you know, the high temperatures, the high winds made it a lot harder for us. But Bob Smiley's oldest boy was able to connect on a big three-year-old tom. Had about a 10-inch beard. And so congrats on that. That was his first turkey ever. Well, that's it for this week's video. Make sure you guys stay tuned into the videos because we'll have some pretty cool videos coming up. We'll be planting food plots here pretty shortly. We're starting to work the food plots. Hopefully we'll get into prescribed burns if the winds ever cooperate. So make sure you guys stay tuned into the videos. Also make sure you check out the website at www.thehuntinggrounds.com. And as always, have a better than average day. It's like I'm in Australia. Because of your glasses? Can you stay? What are you doing? Look at the camera. Your dad's like, taking pictures. It's out. It's gone. You're out. Give it up. Here's Ashton. Ashton's taking him about an hour and a half nap. He's been up a couple of times, came to, and then went back out. This is what I've taught him to do when things get slow. He just come out in the woods and take a big old nap. A kid kill his first turkey. You got, to, you got to edit that. <laughs> There's nothing like. You have to twist it a little bit. <laughs> what was he sleeping? <laughs> he was laying there being real quiet. He has a bird. Yeah, turkeys are coming. That's ready for me.